folks, Jimmy Ray Purser here from VMware, and I want to talk to you about a little problem here that kind of came about as a great feature. Kind of odd, right? Uh, but it kind of works like this. You know, if, you, if you've been messing around with NSX for a while, you know that we've got uh, this great solution here, this great, great piece called the ESG. Now the ESG is a, is a true workhorse uh, of the solution. Uh, does our on-ramp, off-ramp to our physical virtual, has firewalling, uh, does a whole lot of stuff, right? We can really do a lot of things uh, with the ESG. And so a lot of customers saying, you know, what would be cool is if you could put like maybe four or five or eight of these things in a row and then actually enable me to do stuff like equal cost multipathing, right? So let's go ahead and make this a nice little even uh, uh, switch. And I'm probably going to use two just for the simplicity of the design because I'll have lines and stuff going anywhere here. But you kind of get how it will scale out to be a bigger problem. And what that means is, is that basically I can actually start sending my traffic equally uh, through these multiple paths. Very redundant, very nice, very, very cool way of designing, uh, designing out your data center. But the problem happens to be is that how do I make sure, because see, Ethernet is, is a pretty relaxed, it's a pretty Lebowski type of technology, right? It's pretty laid back, it's pretty groovy, um, but the problem is, is that it has one thing that really ticks it off, right? It has to make sure that if it goes through some place, it needs to actually come back that same direction, right? And we do this a lot of times uh, for security, and what we call this is asymmetric routing. Uh, we don't want to make, we, the one thing that we don't want is we don't want a path to go through here, come down to my uh, host setting down here, and then all of a sudden it hits, it hits the, the router. Let me go ahead and change colors here. It'll hit my DLR, which will live right down in here. It hits that DLR and it says, oh, you know what? Why don't you, because we're doing the equal cost uh, multipathing here, how's about if I send that traffic up through this ESG? Well, what's going to happen? <laughs> It's going to drop it, right? So you'll throw it right in the bit bucket. Why is that going to happen like that? Well, because, because see, the ESG is it's not, it's a networking device, right? It's smart enough to know that, you know what? When I receive a new packet uh, from something, it starts with a send, right? It'll start out and it'll say, hey, got a new stream. Let's, let's start our three-way handshake here. Let's be buddies. Let's do some high fives. Let's get some traffic going in. Well, that's not going to happen because that's, that, that stream is already established over here, right? So when I come through here, that handshake has already happened, and now I need to make sure that once, if I go up here, I'm going to drop that frame. Now, this becomes a real bear to troubleshoot, right? I mean, if you're really looking at why you're not getting streams, or sometimes you are, sometimes you're not, or all of a sudden you were getting them at one time and now you're not getting them, uh, it, it seems like there's a ghost in the machine, right? And it is a massive pain in the tail to troubleshoot this booger. So here's what you do. Understand that if you're going to do ECMP, one of the things that you need to do, the first thing you need to do is actually go into your ESG itself and turn off the firewall. Now, you're going to get a message that's going to say, uh, you know, hey, you need to disable the firewall in here. But it's just like a lot of messages. You're like, yeah, yeah, I know that. Click, and we'll go on to the next one, right? <laughs> I've done it way too many times, unfortunately. And, uh, and this time, it actually caught me. So I'm trying to, to, to save you a little bit of troubleshooting time here. Um, so as your, as your packets are coming in, then here's the result. Once you turn that off, then we're going to have, let me change to a cooler color, my favorite color, orange. So we're going to have a stream that's going to come in here from the Internet. And it's going to say, I need to access... Uh, this web server, so it's going to come right on down, hit my DLR, hit my web server, it's going to get the information that it wants, and then it's going to forward it right back up to the ESG, right, that it came out of. It's going to be smart enough to know that, it, that your return and your, your, your source, your destination path need to be exactly the same so that you actually don't have this asymmetric routing issue. It's a really, really big deal uh, once you start setting this up. And if you've done a lot of firewalls, you've probably dealt with this quite a bit before because you have to deal with established uh, sessions and you know all that stuff. So the quickest way to do that is to turn that firewall off here, right? I mentioned that a few times. Really, really important stuff. Now, one of the questions, don't get confused here, because when I, when I tell folks this, one of the things that they say is like, well, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to buy NSX 
is because I want to do micro segmentation, right? I wanted to be able to make sure that I could do my firewalling down here as close to the to the end as possible. So if I've got all my workloads down here, this little uh, th this uh, triangle and square that's my uh, international symbol for uh, workload. So I, I apologize if you haven't seen that before. I need my other stuff. But let's say I want to do all my firewalling down here as close as possible. If I got to turn that off. Why is that, man? You know, because I, I still want to be able to balance that traffic, take advantage of ECMP, but I don't want to actually negate my security. No sweat, man. Lighten up. Everything is groovy. Two different types of firewalls here, right? The firewall in the SG is not the distributed firewall we're doing down here, right? Because what happens is, is that if we take our microscope, well, dig down into this, and we're looking at this, our firewall down here, if you remember, is actually on the VNIC itself, right? So you're now you're actually processing this down here. Your traffic is always going to go in and out of that. So you don't have to worry about you know, how that effect is going to be here. So just by di disabling this up here does not disable that. You're still good to go. Your micro segmentation still works fine. As your workloads travel throughout your data center, no matter where they may go, no matter where they may roam, I almost want to start singing the song, uh, they will actually still keep their security and everything will work fine. And they can be ECMP balanced as well. Hey, folks, my name is Jimmy Ray Purser. That's all I got for today. ECMP, that's for it by name.